Hi, this is Jyrki. This time I am making an exception and I'm making this video in English and I'm going to add Finnish subtitles later. Usually I'm doing the opposite, but I have noticed that no one really cares about the subtitles in English. If the video is not in English, nobody's going to watch it. So a quick recap. What we are looking at here is a 1949 Buick Straight 8. That's a Roadmaster Straight 8. 320 cubic inches. Now this block has been overboard to 355 cubic inches. And eventually it's going there in my 1946 Buick Roadmaster. What we are trying to accomplish here is modern drivability. So we have made a cross flow billet aluminum straight aid cylinder head with eight intake ports instead of the four. Originally this came with Siamese intake ports which are on the same side as the exhaust ports. But now this is a billet aluminum head with eight intake ports and now we are in the process of making an intake for this engine. You can see the bell mouth inside. That's a 5 inch aluminum tube and my buddy in his company uh, FT machine shop machined this billet aluminum uh, bell mouth and flange for an LS uh, throttle body. This I got from Aeroflow from Australia. <clears throat> it's a 95 millimeter. It's an overkill, I know, but I wanted to have an LS type throttle body, cable operated. I don't want to ruin my 46 Buick with a plastic gas pedal. I want to keep the original gas pedal, <coughs> keep this, <coughs> sorry, cable operated. And also I am, <coughs> I'm running a <coughs> T8700R4 transmission that requires a TV cable, a throttle valve cable. So that's why I wanted to stay with cable operated throttle body. And there's an interesting feature here. You see this ledge here. When you open the uh, throttle, throttle blade. This shape follows the lower edge. You can see the blade is opening more on the upper side here. I think it's good because this is a bit overkill for a 5.8 liter engine. 8 millimeter would be just fine, but in this way, <clears throat> this is more progressive. It's no, it's not so snappy uh, at path throttle and idle. Okay, uh, these runners uh, have a two inch diameter, outer diameter. They might be a bit overkill as well, we'll see. But I wanted them to be as long as possible to have good low and mid-range torque. 
All right. Let me see if I can show you. Hang on a second. Here you can hopefully see the bell mouth shape. Just like that. And eventually we'll have these end caps from airflow as well. They need to be welded on. <clears throat> I don't have an AC DC TIG welder, so I welded these runners on the bottom plate using Techno Weld. And also uh, the runners to the uh, injector blocks using Techno Weld. It wasn't that easy, a lot of heating required. But I managed somehow. Well, inside this part, the rectangular port transfer into round port to accommodate these um, runners. Like I said, they they might be two inch runners, might be too big. We'll see about that. And we still need to weld on these. Uh, these are actually not bell mouths, but the round shape. They need to be welded on. There are two centermost pieces. Uh, they are an interference fit. You have to whack them in place. Or maybe grind a little bit off. We'll see about that. But this is how it looks like. Okay. All right. Hope you enjoy this. See you later, alligator. <laughs>